heard you three in a row now after 17 games without a goal. Obviously, that was another big one for you. No, I mean, um, you just got to stay with it. I think, like I said before, I think I was creating before too, and I got I got chances just uh, maybe a little bit unlucky. It bounced, didn't bounce my way. And I think today, if you look at a goal, I think I hit the, the demon stick or something and went five all on the goalie. So, um, yeah, the luck turned a little bit, and it's nice to see them going. Um, we talked this morning about playing at Seattle for the first time. You get a goal. What was that experience like for you tonight? Just nice to win. Um, you know, that's the most important thing is, you know, you, you have friends and other teams and, and people that are close to you. Um, but at the end of the day, you got to go out there and do our job. And uh, we were fortunate tonight to, to get the win. I think at times we didn't look very good and at other times we look really dangerous. But, you know, if we want to make a long run, we got to do it for 60 every night. Andre, as the uh, experimentation continues, did you run the top line? How much money are you having? How long do you expect it to last? <laughs> Um, no, I don't focus too much on that. I mean, uh, I'm having definitely fun playing with Miko and and, uh, and Nate. I mean, I've said it before that two of the top players in the league and in the world, so um, they're making it fairly easy for me out there, and I'm just trying to ride along. Devon, did you have any kind of that that was just allowed? No, not really. I mean, from the bench and then the views upstairs, but at the end of the day, they got to make the call, you know, watching it over and over again. We, we have no say in what's what's going to happen. We just have to, you know, prepare for either situation. And, and, you know, we had a good bounce back when they when they did disallow it. We had a good bounce back push, and uh, we were able to get a couple. You assisted on the power play going. The power play has been kind of not really well. What, does it, what do you think it could do for that, you know, just to kind of get on the yeah, I wouldn't say it's a rut. I know the stats show like it's a, it's it's down from what our percentages are, but we feel like we're creating momentum for our team. And uh, I think two or three of them we've had with you know one or two seconds after the power play, which affects the stat right there pretty quickly. But um, we're getting looks, we're moving. Uh, you know, we're getting good time and practice to work on it, and uh, just finding different looks against different teams. You know, we're seeing some teams now that we haven't seen in a long time. Um, so it's going to be a different look every night, and we're just trying to find the open guy and hit him. How much fun are these comebacks? 18 on the year and 10 and 13 now. No, I think it's, it's definitely fun. I mean, uh, it shows a lot of character in our team that we're capable of coming back in, in games. I mean, like Tasha said, I think we had a pretty good first period, and the second period wasn't as good. And then I think we're, we're always really good in the third period and then wear them down, and I think we, we did that tonight too. Uh, I mean, we got a lot, a lot of help from camps back there, but um, overall, I think we're doing a great job in the third period. Yeah, I think the commitment side of it is, is nice when you can, can have a comeback win, and uh, you know, it's good for morale. It's good to see that you know you're able to come back in games. But we've been doing it a few times here where we're we're hurting ourselves. It's not like other teams are getting you know working for the chances. We're giving it right to them at times, and uh, those are the ones that hurt. But we're showing our resiliency, and that's that's important as well. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. What's the scary He's day to day. Okay. Yeah. Is it kind of something like with Kenan where it was almost more precautionary? Just yeah. No, it wasn't really precautionary with Nate either. I mean, he wasn't feeling good enough to play. So, same thing with Val. Uh, Coach, I asked you the other night about uh, fourth line <coughs> a couple of games ago. I looked at they, they definitely came up a bit. Just your thought on them and that bottom six kind of in general. I thought they were great. Yeah, they were the two best lines on the ice for us for most of the game, you know, through two periods anyway. And then I thought our other guys really started to come along in the third. You switched back to, I think, when you started to the Yeah. Gut feeling. So good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you get a good look at the review? Obviously, it went in your guys' favor, but did you feel pretty confident that I was going to go back the other way? Yep, I did. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I couldn't see why, you know, they show the top view. We had it right away on our monitor, and we're like, it's no goal. Yeah. I mean, great play by Murray to get into the guy, because that guy's coming to, like, even if he, you know, like, he's putting it in the net for sure. Um, and Murray gets desperate, and I think it was Murray right in the net front, and he's falling and diving and, and doing everything he can. He actually forces him to knock it out of the net that was their their guy's stick so i mean good desperation play they're playing it right to the to the whistle how do you feel about the 
Thought he was awesome tonight. Yeah, last couple games, he's been skating, moving the puck, real good decisions. Um, third period is fantastic. Jared, I don't know if you're keeping track, but that's eight come back. <laughs> I'm not keeping track, no. <laughs> it's good to know, though. How do you explain that? I had this question the other day. I just, I, like, I, I really, like, we were talked about our start today, how important it was going to be because, let's face it, the last two starts were not where they needed to be. And um, the Islanders are a real good team when they're, you know, they're a real good team anyway, but even better team when they're playing with, with the lead. Um, they can get stingy defensively and, and hard to score on. So we wanted to make sure we were coming out and playing with the lead. Now, unfortunately, we we get our, you know, we had two leads, right? Uh, one nothing, 2-1, and we let them slip away. Um, I thought we were a little bit unfortunate to come out of the first period at 1-1 the way we were playing. Um, and then the start of the second, I thought we were really good in the offensive zone. We spent a lot of time there, and then they just almost immediately flipped the table on us when we went uh, uh, up 2-1, and then they, they played the whole second half of the second in our zone. We got standing around a little bit. So we had a little talk after the second, and, you know, I'll stick with what I said the other day. It just kind of drags out the the urgency in our group, like wanting to win and, you know, keep this thing rolling in the right direction. And I just felt like, you know, our top guys started to get going. They started to check with more purpose. You know, every play was meaning a little bit more for them. And uh, we had a, you know, we had a good, pretty good third period. It wasn't perfect, but it was, you know, good enough to get the job done. I'll take another strong score is uh, a lot of goals as part of the net. What do you think of that one? Yeah, it was. I mean, I thought they did a nice job in that power play, staying in attack mode right away off the opening, off the face off. Kale gets shooting the puck. You know, we were shooting it from the flank. We went, we went to the low play once. We tried the high tip. But Naz gets a piece of it and it misses the net. And Landy just stays on it and real, real good sort of. Um, Poise and, and understanding that the goalie was kind of scrambling to make the tip on on Naz's save, and that he's out of the net a little bit on the short side, and he he banks it right in off him. I mean, that's the, one of the things that, that Landy can do. He's just so good around the net. So, I'll take another swing at this. We're passing on the top line. At what point do you pronounce that a success? Can you learn that that can be a success? Can you go back to the regular line combinations or? Yeah, we'll see. I want to see it for a while. Doesn't mean it's going to happen all the time in a string of games, but I'm going to see it a little bit in the second half of the year. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, we've talked about this over the last couple of days. He's just such a great person and great teammate and all the guys love him and and um i thought first of all i thought the organization did a great job on that the video going through all the teams he had his family guys presented him with you know some gifts and this morning in the meeting in, in private and um then the team in the league uh come out for the ceremony on the ice i thought it was great to see his family they're posing for the pictures and stuff his little guys were hilarious um and, and i just thought it was a great moment it's it, it and it should be you know you look at what was he the 21st defense u.s defenseman you know to hit a thousand i mean that's incredible as long as the league's been around and um you know i think that to go get that win tonight on, on his thousands game was big too. And all the guys are, you know, they were excited for him and, and, and rightly so. Pretty high skill play from McKinnon on that first goal. Not just that goal, but his play recently since sitting out that game against Detroit. What can you say about how he looks right now? Oh, well, he looks like he's um, getting to the point where he's using his legs to get into shooting lanes and he's shooting the puck. You know, I think we we've, we've seen um, times where he was looking to defer a little bit to the pass, um, carrying the puck into traffic sometimes, and then trying to shoot or just trying to you know hold on to the puck a split second longer. And recently, for me, the biggest change in his game is like he'll use his legs to drive by a guy, and before he hits the next guy that's coming to duplicate, he's unloading the puck, and that's what he did on that play tonight. And he's got a couple goals like that just in the last recent few games. 
Thank you very All right, much. thanks.